Kia ora everybody, my name is James Cockle. I'm running for the co-leadership position against James Shaw for the Green Party this year at the AGM in August. And what I want to talk to you about for my final video is, or one of my final videos, is about tough conversations. So I've talked a lot about the kinds of changes that I see that we need to make, the way that we are um, envisaging our world and the way that we have changed our ideology to fit with this radical neoliberal experiment, the way that we've started to see our own policies like commodities um, and how we need to change to be bigger, bolder, broad brush policies that can't be changed back. And we need to see a holistic big picture approach. We need to fundamentally change the way that our economy works. And of course, we need to look after our people and our planet. Um, but to do all those things, as I've said before, it's not complicated, but it is hard. So what I want to talk about now is some of the really difficult conversations that we are going to have to have, and that we're going to have to have the guts to back up in um, conversations with the public and w what this means is communicating the fact that we are at crisis point right now we're at a crisis point in terms of climate change uh, ecological collapse poverty housing infrastructure um, we're I imminent and um, repetitive economic collapse, and of course an inequality. These are all crises that we are facing all at once right now. They're, they're all imminent. Um, this is because we are hitting the tipping points. So we're hitting our climate change tipping points because our emissions are too high. We are witnessing ecological collapse because we're taking too much from the natural world and we're living destructively, not regeneratively. Our economic system has boom and bust baked in because our economic system is set up to encourage exploitation of the planet and people in destructive ways which view both as throwaway resources. The rich are getting richer and the poor are getting poorer. Our infrastructure like water and power generation has been unattended, left unattended for too long. This will mean changes are needed that will result in a massive downshift in consumption, a massive upshift in people first approach, a change in focus from commodity to need. This is going to mean some big changes in people's lives, and I know that it's frightening. Um, but it's, we need to be honest and upfront about this. We can't keep kicking it down the road. We can't keep saying she'll be right. We can't keep saying, don't worry, EVs are going to fix it all. You know, this is what it's going to mean. Much less personal car travel. Much less. So that there needs to be an expectation. We need to build the expectation that almost everyone takes public transport. Only those that really can't take it will, will be able to continue driving. There'll be much, much less air travel. So the expectation is that almost nobody flies. People will bus, rail and ferry nationally. They'll travel by boat internationally for the most part. That means travel takes longer. So we'll need to account for that in our in our day to day lives. Getting almost anywhere will take more time. There'll be a reduction in luxuries like meat and dairy um, because our food production will become regenerative and we'll be paying the true cost of our actions across the board, both in transport, energy, and, um, and in food production. It, mean, it means le the land is more productive, but it costs more in labor costs. The needs focused means food and housing may cost more to produce, but it won't cost the consumer anymore because we are seeing these as needs to be met, not commodities to be traded. Consumer goods will cost more, but they'll be made to be repaired. They'll be made to last forever. Housing, land and investment profits will be less, but the market will remain stable and the government will participate in housing provision. And that means participating with landlords when they can't um, afford to do up their houses or get them up to code or they've got a rundown house that's now currently empty. The government needs to step in and participate in that process and be a shareholder in that property. Um, and it means no more making money out of money. Yeah, there's no more investment of just purely on speculation you must produce value right so those are the those are the tough um, conversations we need to have we need to understand that that's going to be very frightening to some people but you know it's it's a really important change that needs to be made now I hope you believe as I do that these change changes need to happen um, if you do believe 
that these changes need to happen, as I do, please support me for this um, run for Green Party co-leader. If you disagree with me and you believe that we can get there through incremental um, small steps and small changes and greening of our economy and greening of our um, power grid and, and things like that, then by all means, don't don't support me. If you do agree with me, please give me your support. Um, people think that it's too hard to change this system. It's too difficult, that it can't be done. Uh, people think that it's unrealistic to think that we could become the major party in Parliament. And I just wanted to remind people that Labour was not always the major party in Parliament. National was not always a major party in Parliament. You know, just like the fruit, an orange that sits on your counter for weeks and weeks, and it's fine. And then one day a little spot of mould gets in there. And within a few days, the whole thing's d destroyed. The whole thing's um, dissolved into into a little fuzz of blue mould. You know, that is the same as the way that our, our system will change. You know, and it will happen whether we want it or not, because... The days of fossil fuels are over. They're done. You know, it's it's just been a small blip in human history, a small golden age of massive quantities of easily accessible energy. It's done. We we know we cannot continue to consume this um, at this level. So it's either going to drop off a cliff as as things start to collapse, or we make the choice and slow that curve. Um. And, and just like the fruit, our, our political system, nobody thought Trump could get into power until he won. Nobody thought that could change. And that's how things are going to happen for us if we have the guts to stand up and fight for what we know is right. Thank you very much for your time. Please get out to your local um, Green Party meetings. There'll be meetings coming up around the whole country where um, where you will be required to tell your delegates so you have some delegates who'll be going to the AGM and those delegates must represent you the members so if you want to support me in this run and you believe in the things that I've spoken about in this little series of videos get to your um, get to your uh, branch meetings instruct your delegates tell them what you want them to vote for tell them what you believe in tell them what you want them to support um, thanks again so much for your time. Uh, much love to everyone out there. Goodbye.